Mastering English Phrases, Unpacking, Ink It Down. Hello, everyone, welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're diving into an interesting phrase, ink it down. This phrase is not just about writing something with ink, but it carries a deeper, more metaphorical meaning. Let's explore what it means, how to use it, and its origins. Ink it down is a phrase that means to write something down in a permanent or definitive way. The key here is the idea of permanence that ink symbolizes. Unlike a pencil mark, which can be erased, ink represents a commitment to remember or follow through on what is written. Examples When you have a great idea, ink it down so you won't forget it. During meetings, it's important to ink down key points for future reference. The word, ink, in this phrase is crucial. Historically, ink was the primary medium for writing, associated with official documentation and important records. By using, ink, instead of just, write, the phrase emphasizes the seriousness and permanence of the action. Points to remember, ink, implies something more permanent and serious than just writing. The phrase can be used both literally and metaphorically, This phrase is versatile and can be used in various contexts, from casual conversations to formal meetings. It's a great way to emphasize the importance of remembering or noting something down. Tips for usage. Use it to encourage others to note something important. Apply it in situations where permanent record of information is necessary. While ink it down is the common form you might also hear variations like, ink that down, or get it inked. These variations carry the same meaning and can be used interchangeably. Note, variations may depend on regional dialects or personal speaking styles. Ink it down is a powerful phrase that goes beyond just writing something on paper. It's about making a commitment, remembering important things, and giving weight to our words. We hope this exploration helps you understand and use ink it down confidently in your English conversations. Keep practicing, and don't forget to ink down new phrases you learn along the way.